We moved over here to the shade. What do you look for in horse you are training in 90 days? Trust and confidence or two? Confidence for sure. Trust is a little bit of a um, sticky word in my opinion, but I won't worry about that for now. What do I look for in a horse that's got 90 days training? That totally depends on the horse. It, you know, some of them in 90 days are doing phenomenal things or, or can be doing phenomenal things. In my misspent youth, there was a lot of them at 90 days that because they could do some some crazy things and some, some super neat things, I let them do it. Uh, I've learned not to do that because just because they can doesn't mean I should. So what do I look for in 90 days? You know, in 90 days, I ought to be able to do the basic maneuvers. Uh, the horse ought to be good catch, saddled, tighten my cinch, move him around, step on and go, walk, trot, and lope. 95% of the time, pick up the correct lead without me helping it. Uh, ought to have a strong backup, open and shut gates on it have the beginnings of, of some of the more complicated maneuvers like haunch turns. Uh, I ought to be able to frame the horse. The horse ought to be starting to collect, be being ridden outside, some things like that. Those are all ought to be's. Not every horse is gonna is gonna be. There's there's some horses that have problems that that aren't aren't mentally confident to begin with, that have confirmation issues, things like that, that I may not necessarily be able to do those, those simple basic things with. In my practice, I know within the first week of being around the horse, whether I'll be able to do those things in 90 days. And if I can't, because the horse has some confirmation issues, or um, you know, has some man-made luggage, baggage from from past experiences. But whatever the case may be, uh, I address those issues to the owner within that first week and say, "Look, in 90 days, I'm not going to be getting much done here." Uh, and and usually, if it's a bunch of man-made baggage, I'm going to say, I'm, I, "I don't. I'm not a problem horse guy. Send them to somebody that is." So. That's that, you know, in 90 days, I really don't expect much. Just because I can change leads, doesn't mean I'm going to. Um, usually with what I do, by, by 90 days, I'm working a cow, but usually by 60 days, I, you know, after the first 60 days, I start putting them on a cow. Swing my rope on them, drag a tire, this and that. Just, just small stuff, because it's, the horse has its whole life to be broke. Getting the horse broke, you know, the first, year of riding you don't get to do that again people talk about restarts and things you can't ever restart a horse you can you can start again but it's not a restart you can't erase what's been done so those those first 90 days i'll never get those first 90 days back so i i'm really really careful really slow and meticulous about what i do in the first 90 days with me a horse probably hasn't even gotten a, a real hard sweat even if it's summertime, that horse probably hasn't gotten into a real hard sweat. The horse darn sure hasn't hasn't been allowed to run. Uh, you know, a, a fast lope is as fast as I've gone. The horse uh, is shod by that point, at least on the hind feet, because they're stopping hard by that point. But I'm I'm stopping them. I'm letting them stop once a week, letting them run and slide to a stop maybe once a week at 90 days just to hold their confidence and to keep them from getting injured so at 90 days i can do a lot on one there, there's a bunch of them that by 90 days i was doctoring cattle outside on or, or dragging calves to the fire or this or that or the other thing i can get a lot done in 90 days but i'll never get those 90 days back so what i'm looking for in 90 days training is a lot less than what other people are and, and confidence is, is my big thing. I'm looking for a lot more confidence and a lot less Thank show you so much. So to the Patreon crew, you guys are the reason we're able to do this and, uh, and do the extra things 
and and really do all the YouTube videos too. We wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to make it work without you guys. So thank you so much. And any of the rest of you, you can jump on and watch any of these these extra kind of things that, that we do on Patreon and, and see what's going on there. So check that out if you can.